dear students this is lecture 13 in supply chain management let us discuss the questions asked in the last lecture first question is transport cost is lower in distributor storage method compared to manufacturer storage method true or false the statement is true because in distributor storage method products are moved in bulk from factories to distributor then distributor to customer the next question is what is last mile delivery last mile delivery means the distributor or retailer delivers the product to the customer's home third question response time in manufacturer storage method is faster than distributor storage with the last mile delivery true or false the statement is false because the response time is faster in case of distributor storage with the last mile delivery in continuation to the topic of distribution network designs in this lecture we are going to discuss the last two distribution network designs the fifth one is manufacturer or distributor storage with the customer pickup in this approach inventory is stored in the manufacturer or distributor warehouse customers place their orders through online or through phone and then they travel to the designated pickup points to collect their products orders are shipped from warehouse or storage sites to the pickup points as and when it is required the information and product flows of this process is shown in the next slide when we see the diagram we can understand the process of this method customers place order through retailers and then the information is sent to the factories that is dotted line shows the information flow and solid line shows the product flow factories send the products to pickup sites through cross stock distribution center we already discussed the meaning of cross stock distribution center is nothing but minimized inventory just we are sending the products from inbound trucks to outbound trucks so the customers go to the pickup sites and collect their products inventory cost in this approach can be maintained at very low level by exploiting aggregation in either manufacturer storage or distributor storage that is the products are moved in bulk and kept in distributor storage based on demand level so that to reduce the inventory cost transportation cost is also lower in this method because we can coordinate the different orders and uh, deliver the products based on the orders to a pickup site next facility cost are high if we have to build new pickup sites if you are able to use already existing sites that can lower the additional facility cost as far as information infrastructure is concerned we need to provide visibility of the order until the customer picks the products so there there is a need for good coordination among the retailer and the storage location and the pickup location in this method response time can be maintained 
as comparable to any other distribution network designs. Product variety and product availability can also be maintained as comparable to the other manufacturer storage method or distributor storage method. But there is a loss of customer experience because in this case, customer must pick up their own orders. Sometimes customer may feel uncomfortable in picking the orders on their own. Order visibility, it is another important factor in any distribution network design. It's also applicable for this method also. So the customer must be informed when the order has arrived and when customer come to the pickup site to pick up the products, we should have the mechanism to identify the particular order in a very short period. Such a system is hard to implement because it requires integration of several stages in the supply chain. When a customer comes to pick up the products, if he waits for longer time due to the reason that identification takes much time, then the customer experience will not be better one and the objective of the total supply chain will be a failure one. So the order visibility is extremely important and also we should be able to identify the products when the customer comes to pick up the products. Returns can be handled at the pickup site making it easier for customer. For transportation, the return flows can be handled using the delivery trucks itself. Next, we see the performance characteristics of network with the customer pickup sites. Cost factor and performance. The first cost factor is inventory. So, inventory level can be maintained low based on the location of inventory. Transportation, it is lower than the use of package carriers if we are able to use the existing delivery network. Facilities and handling, facilities cost will be high if new facilities have to be built for this method. It will be lower if we are using the existing facilities. The increase in handling cost at the pickup site can be significant because when a customer comes to the pickup site, we should have the mechanism to identify the order and deliver it. We need to have a better mechanism. Information, significant investment in information infrastructure is required so that to coordinate between the manufacturer retailers, distribution centers, pickup sites and customers. Next we see service factor and performance. Response time. The response time is better in this case because the same day delivery is possible due to the reason that once the items are available in pickup site, the customer can come and take their products. Product variety, it is similar to other options that is manufacturer storage or distributor storage and product availability is also is similar to other manufacturer or distributor storage option. But customer experience, it is lower than other options because here the customer has to come to the pickup site to take their products. So sometimes the experience in pickup site may be a better one. So the experience is very much sensitive in the pickup location and 
there must be a mechanism to handle the difficulties in identification of orders and delivering the products so that we can make the customer experience better one time to market it is very similar to manufacturer storage option order visibility is difficult but it is a essential one so that customer will come to know the status of their orders returnability it is easier if the pickup location can handle returns the last distribution network design method is retail storage with the customer pickup this is the traditional type of supply chain that is inventory is stored in retail stores so customers walk into the retail store or place an order online or they can order by phone and pick the products at the particular retail store the local storage increases inventory cost because there is no coordination of orders between the customers retailers distributors and manufacturers so even for fast moving items or very fast moving items there is a marginal increase in inventory with the local storage that means the retail storage should keep the items readily available in their racks so that whenever customer come to the store he will get the product what he looks for so that he will buy the products immediately transportation cost is much lower than in this method when we compare with the other design solutions because we can utilize inexpensive modes of transport to replenish that is to stock the products in the retail stores facility cost are high because we have to make many local facilities so that to make the product is easily reachable to the customers as far as information infrastructure is concerned there is a minimal need of information infrastructure because customers directly walk into the store and place orders but of course in case of online orders there is a need of information infrastructure to provide order visibility to the customer till they pick up the products the response times can be better because the products are available in the local storage so the customer goes to the particular retail store and the customer can purchase the product if the product is available in the particular store product variety is lower in this method because the product customization is not easy as happens in manufacturer method and also it is very expensive than other options to provide high level of product availability the reason is that the retail store should maintain all kinds of products readily available then only it can ensure the product availability customer experience it is particularly depends on the particular retail store whether it is uh, liked by the customer or not the time to market is the highest with this option because any new product has to penetrate through the entire supply chain then only it can reach the customer finally in this method order visibility is important only when customers place 
order through online or by phone because the customer should know the status of the order until they come and pick up the products. Returns can be handled at the pickup site itself. So returnability is somewhat better in this option because customers can directly go to the retail store and uh, return their products. The main advantage of this network with the retail storage is it can lower delivery costs and provide a faster response than any other networks. The major disadvantage is that increased inventory and facility cost. This network is best suitable for fast moving items or items for which customers expect rapid response. This is the method applied in department stores or supermarkets where they focus on fast moving consumer goods. Performance characteristics of retail storage with the customer pickup, cost factor and performance. The inventory cost factor, it is higher than any other option because the retail stores should maintain inventory of all the products. Transportation, it is lower than all other options because we can use inexpensive modes of transport to move the products to the retail stores. Facilities and handling, it is higher than other options because we have to create facilities in local places. The increase in handling cost, the pickup side can be significant if you go for online and phone orders. Information, very minimal requirement of information infrastructure that is only for online and phone orders. Next, the service factor and performance. Response time, it is better in this method because the same day are immediate pickup possible for items because as the products are readily available in local stores. Product variety, it is lower than all other options. Product availability, it is possible but more expensive to provide than all other options. Customer experience, it is related to the particular retail store based on their experience of shopping in the particular place. Time to market, it is highest among other distribution options. Order visibility, it is very easier because customers directly come to the stores and they purchase the products. But only for online and phone orders, we have to maintain the visibility of order till the customer picks the products. Returnability, it is easier than other options because when the customer comes to retail store and return the product, there itself the retail store can replace the product. We have discussed six different distribution network designs. Next we see how to select a particular distribution network design for the product. A network designer needs to consider product characteristics as well as network requirements before deciding the particular delivery network. Most companies choose a combination of delivery networks. Again, the combination depends on product characteristics and strategic position that the firm is targeting. The network, however, is tailored to match the characteristics of the product and the needs of the consumer. So the network is to be mapped to the characteristics of the product and the needs of the customer. For example, fast moving and emergency items are stocked locally 
and customer can either pick them up or having them shipped depending on the urgency. Slower moving items are stocked at a national distribution center and shipped to the customer within a day or two. In case of very slow moving items are typically drop shipped from the manufacturer and it can carry a longer lead time. Students answer for these questions.